As we approach the 2024 U.S. elections, it's increasingly evident that seven key swing states are likely to play a pivotal role in determining the outcome of these elections. In this uh, battleground state, uh, water support levels tend to be closely matched, making them highly competitive. Trump, Harris and their uh, VP picks have held more than 300 events in these areas leading up to the election. Well, ultimately, the decisive factor will be which party can effectively sway the undecided voters in these crucial regions. Let's take a closer look at these important swing states now and uh, the statistics behind them as well. We'll, of course, uh, get in a couple of perspectives after I've shown you what uh, this uh, particular uh, process looks like. Of course, uh, these are some of those uh, uh, states which you can define. Arizona is a big one. In 2020, Biden won the state by... 10,000 votes, all right, in elections and in electoral parlance, that is not a very high number. And this is how people voted. The Caucasian vote towards uh, uh, Joe Biden was 52.9%. The Hispanics, which of course are in contention and of course in a lot of controversy at this point in time, are also at 32.5. Electoral votes, 16 out of 538. In North Carolina, another important state on the East Coast, Trump won this vote by 34,000 votes and that of course is quite a margin there moving on north carolina another important state uh, the caucasian vote which is uh, the white vote was at 60 percent the hispanic was at 10.7 percent the black was at 20.2 percent and uh, the arab at less than one percent the asians at 3.2 percent the others voted by five percent the immigrant population in this state is about a million people and 10 out of 538 electoral votes was uh, to wisconsin as well in 2020 joe biden the incumbent president of america won by 21,000 vote and this uh, state a cold state has a population of about six million wisconsin another state has a population of 5.9 million the immigration population is not that high at 308,000. Uh, and of course, again, the Caucasian vote here was at 74.5 percent, the Hispanics at 8.6 percent, uh, the black at 10.8 percent, the Asians, Native Americans and of course, Native Amer Americans mostly consolidated in this part in this state is in Wisconsin. And of course, 19 out of those 538, Joe Biden, 82,000 votes in Pennsylvania, another important state. Uh, in the northeast of the United States. And this is how they voted for Joe Biden. The Caucasians once again comprised uh, uh, three-fourths of this vote at 74.5%, uh, a very densely populated state. Pennsylvania at 13 million of population. The black vote was at 10.8%, the Hispanics at 86 and Native Americans and the others at about 4%. A huge immigrant population of a million people in the state. The electoral uh, 16 of 538 in 2020, Joe Biden won uh, uh, Georgia by 13,000 votes, a population of uh, 11 million people. And of course, another important blue state where the Caucasian population does have a big say, but they only comprise 50% of uh, the voting percentage for the Democrat leader, which is uh, Joe Biden, the incumbent president, the Hispanic, the Latino, the Asians, the Native Americans, the Arab and the blacks, of course, uh, uh, followed next. The black vote at 32.6% for Joe Biden in Georgia. Uh, and this is, of course, uh, the road to 270, which is going to define who's going to win. Another important state, Michigan, uh, a coal state uh, with uh, Detroit as the capital. Joe Biden won by 150,000 votes, a big margin for uh, uh, the Democrats. And Michigan uh, is uh, considered to be uh, predominantly an area where the blacks, of course, exercise their right to vote and uh, usually have not been undecided when it comes to voting for either the Democrats or the Republicans. The way it has swung in the past has always been for or towards the Democrats. And uh, Hispanics constitute about 18.7% of the spy chart. The Native Americans, the Puerto Ricans and the Arabs and uh, the other uh, con constitute somewhere close to less than 10%. Nevada, another important state right next to, to California. This is uh, the home to Las Vegas. Uh, Joe Biden won by 34,000 vote. It's got a population of 3.2 million. And uh, this is important to understand as these are smaller margins. And these are the margins that will decide who's going to be the next president 
of the United States. So we are going to, in fact, uh, uh, you know, going to get more ideas about what these margins mean for uh, both these candidates and uh, how is it going to impact the last minute rush to the polling booth. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.